Hello and welcome to the fourth in my series. You can see links to the other three below plus my website. So today we're going to be looking at colour and just exploring and having fun with colour. It's like a form of meditation. You can either do it on your own or with friends and family at home and you'll see as we go along how this is just really fun to do. So I hope you enjoy it. I've chosen some paper which is a bit thicker than the paper I was using in the previous videos because I'm going to be using water with some of the colours. You could use watercolour paper but just for these kind of exercises this is fine. And I've got watercolour pencils here, some watercolours here and some of these wonderful watercolour crayons. Basically the idea is just to relax and pick up a colour that appeals to you and start to express yourself. So it's just very slow and meditative really. So to begin with just pick up a colour that appeals. I'm going to pick up this lovely orange here and the great thing about these is you can dip them in water and just start to move about the page. So this is a bit like doodling. Another one. And you can listen to music whilst doing this. Or a radio program. Or an audio book. Or you can, as I'm doing, just sit in silence and It's just all about play and they say that if you doodle you actually take in other information so if you were listening to something you, you are more able to take in that information. So just keep playing. I'm going to change the uh, colour again, I'm going to go for yellow. And many people have written about the effects of colour on the brain and it's a way, another way of really relaxing and letting the brain fade out from stress. I'm just going to pick up the brush here and so with these you can stop maybe filling in or so this isn't about creating a figurative picture necessarily this is about just playing with colour and form and artists like um, Kandinsky and Paul Clay and people like Goethe all have written about the effect of the positive effect of colour. Here I've been using this lovely green and then I'm just just to show you different techniques I'm going to pick up a, a purple again watercolour Get a more fine line with these. And here I've wet the paper first. But it's just very relaxing just to play without trying to create anything in particular. And you might find that something starts to emerge or not. So here I've used blue but actually 
I'm finding that a little bit too intense, that blue, for the, the, t the rest of the tone, so I'm going to just dab it down, take it back a bit. That's better. To do the same here. So like layering up and then taking away. I seem to have gone in for sort of a circular theme here, but you, you can do anything. Yeah, and that's a bit intense. What I'm looking, what I feel, just go with your feeling whether, you've, whether something's working or not. Again, it's it's not about creating anything. It's very specific. It's just about playing with the colours and getting an overall feeling of maybe balance. This And that's why it's good to have slightly thicker paper because you're going to ask the paper to work a bit more. And I'll show you some more examples of other work I've done like this. So here I can almost see a, a figure coming out. So find the it's a light colour to begin with. See how great these are, they just they just sort of melt everything together. You can work really quickly. So you don't have to bring anything out of these images, but it's just about playing, really. I'm going to go back to um, the purple, just to give it a bit more balance this side. It's just endless hours of fun really and the more you do it the more, the more you'll get confident about using different techniques and colour and, and uh, the more relaxing it will be as I say this is more about it's be about kind of circles and circular movement. It's a bit too blue, so I'm going to add a little bit of yellow here. And then you can always let it dry as well. And have a look at it the next day or later and uh, see if there's uh, something you want to go back to. Or... So it's not about creating a, a wonderful piece of work, it's just about having fun really. And you'll find it's very relaxing. So I'll show you some other examples of work I've done in this fashion. So this is the one that I was working on showing you. So with this one I started painting some cyclamen and then I just sort of decided to make it more abstract. This is an imagined landscape. So you can play around with ideas like this and 
And here you've got a tree-like form. Another one there. Figurative work from your imagination. Quite wild. And if you're feeling like just getting some energy out, you can just create some like these. Just lots of energy and colour. So my next video is going to be on the painting by Paul Nash. It's a tiny little painting painted in 1934, which I love. And I'll show you how you can reinterpret an image like that using different colours. And that will take us on to the next video, which will be about taking photographs from a holiday you've had and creating a diary journal, so a holiday in the past where you can recall things and create images from photographs you already have. So I hope you'll join me for those. See you soon. And please subscribe by clicking below on my channel if you'd like to. Thank you.